Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Hope you are well. Today we've got an interesting one for you. This video is sponsored by Wondershare Recovered. We're going to be looking at their software to recover deleted files. Yes, it is actually going to be a useful video. We're going to look at what the software is, why you should potentially use it in case of a future accident and what it is, how it works, and we're gonna do a quick demo. So what is it? Well, it's recover it. It's a way to recover deleted files from your computer. It could be a Windows computer. It could be a Mac. I've got a Mac, so I'm pointing it that way. It could be anything, really. It can work both uh, on a USB stick, a hard drive, or even a crashed computer, or even your recycling bin. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to obviously install the software, where to find it. I'm also gonna show you how to recover it, a USB stick with some files that I'm gonna put on there. And we're gonna recover some stuff from the bin just to show you an example of how it works. Now we're gonna use photos because they're quick and easy. I'm not gonna put massive uh, video files, but some of the stuff that you can recover are photos, videos, documents, actually anything really, any type of file in your machine and you can recover from a crashed computer, which is really interesting because if you can't access a hard drive from a crashed computer, um, you're gonna have trouble, especially if you wanna recover some files from it that are really important to you. These software is where you can actually achieve that. So Recover It's been around for a while. I actually heard of them about two or three years ago and I initially lost a whole set of videos uh, for my YouTube. It was all backup videos, but I wanted to use some of them to show in my videos of past videos. You know how it used to be with the buttons up here you could press on the video. Well, I lost all that. I needed to recover one video really, really importantly. I didn't know you could download it from YouTube back then. Any case, I found Recover It, used it because it was a small file, and that was it. So, where do you go, right? Go cover it, wondershare.com, and I'm gonna share my screen and you guys can see that right now. So, go to recoverit.wondershare.com, and here we are. Tap download for Windows or Mac, whichever one you're on, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for this example, we're on a Windows machine because it's, well, I have one, and I have another Mac, which I can show you too, but we're looking at this. So, tap download for Windows, it'll automatically download it for you, tap into it, and install it. Now, I've already got it installed, so it doesn't really make much sense to reinstall it, but here we are. Now, what we're gonna do is if we top back to the desktop, we've got these two lovely files. This is my Techman Pat logo, okay? And this is my Postman Pat logo, which is a blatant ripoff, but I don't use it commercially. This is an example. Uh, don't get your panties in a twist. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a USB stick. So I'm gonna go to my computer. There is a USB stick here. You can see there's some old files on here, but what we're gonna do is gonna right click on it and format, um, quick format, FAT32, done. Goodbye, goodbye everything. But we're gonna put those files onto this USB stick and we're gonna delete the USB stick or delete it from there. Um, you know, and this might happen accidentally. It might happen when, I don't know, somebody else is using your computer and uh, or, or that USB stick gets given to somebody. Now, as long as you don't overwrite the USB stick with more files, you'll be able to recover everything off it. So I'm gonna transfer these uh, photos onto here. There you go, Techman Pad, Techman Pad. And you know what? I'm also gonna delete it from my desktop because we wanna show you how you can get it from the recycling bin, obviously, and you know, in here. So, uh, delete here, delete here. Yes, I want to permanently. Now that word is peculiar in this situation because it's probably not true. Well, I know it's not true. <laughs> I did a test beforehand. Um, delete it, and we're gonna click here, empty recycling bin, and permanently delete the other files. That's it, we're done. We've deleted everything. So, um, now, let's boot up Wondershare. So depending on the size of your hard drive or the USB stick or how much files you've had in the background of it is going to dictate how quickly this process goes. Because, let's be realistic, it has to scan really deep into your hard drive, your SSD or your USB stick. Now, the reason we're doing an empty USB stick is because of that, it's much easier to get the files that were done recently than the ones that were done years and years ago. What you'll see is actually quite interesting. So when we get to the first menu, we're gonna decide where we wanna recover these files from. So obviously you've got all your hard drives here, but we wanna just get it from the USB stick. So there it is, 14 gig USB stick. We also have the option to recovery uh, from recycling bin, desktop, select a folder. That's very good. You can select a specific folder where some of your files were but we're gonna get it from the USB. Tap start is a really simple process. 
it's going to start scanning now and the thing with the scan is that it's going to keep scanning and deeper and deeper and deeper and recover more and more files now when i scanned this on my mac it had over 354 files on it but right now you can just see that the first two files popped up, Techman Pat, because they're the most recent ones in a sort of, imagine a layer, a deep down hole where all the files sit. So I can actually stop it right now. I don't have to wait 44 minutes for it to recover. Now this also depends how fast your computer is, not just the size. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap stop here because honestly, these are the files that I wanna get. So I'm gonna tap stop. Are you sure you wanna cancel the scanning process? Yes, I do. Um, it's gonna fix up some stuff and it's gonna cancel. Because what we're doing here, is actually we're just getting a preview of what's available. The recovery process is going to be done in a second. So we've got our two files. I can see that they're the ones. You can see the image and they're right there. Now you can see the date they were modified, but you can also see the type of files you can recover. And here's something interesting, ESD USB, right here, the raw files, there's actually more stuff underneath it because this has been partitioned. It has been formatted into multiple types, NTFS, FAT32. It's really interesting that it picks all that up. So we're gonna select these two files and we're gonna tap recover. Once you tap recover, you get to select where you wanna put these files. Now, the suggestion is you put it elsewhere than the USB stick. That's very, very important. Uh, so if you're recovering a hard drive, you wanna put it somewhere else because you don't want the data to be overwritten while you're recovering it. So we're gonna put it onto uh, our local disk. I'm gonna to go to users, uh, pat, and I'm going to go to desktop because we just want it to see it pop up on the desktop. Tap recover. Oh, that was quick. It will pop up with the files straight away. There we go, Techman Pat recovered. How amazing is that? And look, it's full quality, the exact file size, and here's the other file. That works really well. Now, obviously, if you have like a 10 gig file, it will recover a little bit longer. And, but it will also say to you if you can recover it fully. And that way, it's, it's right here. It won't give you a warning. So now let's recover it from the bin because we haven't got it from there yet. So let's go back, we're gonna cancel this scan. Um, we're gonna go back and we're gonna select our recycling bin. Now this is gonna be an interesting one. There is so much crap that's gone through that recycling bin. Now imagine that you could have deleted something a month ago and forgot about it. You'll be able to get it back. Press start and this time around, it's going to take a lot longer, but we've got all the time in the world because we got the magic of movies and we're gonna cut and we're gonna snip and we're gonna get back to this when it's done because we're not gonna wait 64. Okay, I have stopped the scan. We're at 690,000 files and we really only wanna recover two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to it, but I wanna show you a couple of features that actually help you navigate all these files. So when you recover it, so this is the local M.2. This is a te one terabyte uh, SSD um, in the M.2 slot, which is obviously really good. It's fast, so this did take a little while, but what I can do is I can search by the type. So I can go video maybe, or audio, MP3. There's the Dirt Report that I've been putting up on the podcast, which you can also check out if you want uh, on iTunes and other podcasting apps. And you can recover all these as you wish. Just tap recover and off you go. Um, what I wanted to show you is that if you go to photos, you can then see the type of photo. So if you know what kind of photo you're looking for, select the JPEG, you'll be able to find it in the list that has been recovered. Now, obviously, if the file has been overwritten, you won't be able to get it. But if we look at the file paths, that's the more important one that I wanna show you. Because we know the files are on the desktop, or at least they were until your sibling deleted. Ah! You tap onto the local one and you click the little arrow so you can follow the bouncing ball. So we can get to users, me, Pat, and then we can go to desktop. There it is, there's 472 files in here. Now, secret stuff is just my desktop, but we can see there's Christmas photos here. We've got some old stuff here. And where we want to go is just straight to the desktop. And there we have it. The two Techman Pat files. All you have to do is select the ones you want, tap recover, and we're going to put it, well, actually, we can't really put it on the, on the desktop because we don't want to fail it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it onto a folder in the desktop away from where it was before. That's the main thing. Just put it away from where it was. Desktop. Um, it says not to, we suggest not to do it. So, you know what, let's not do it there. Let, let's, let's take their suggestion, it's highly recommended. Let's just go put it on a, well, let's put it on the USB stick. Back onto the USB stick, there you go. Tap recover, it's gonna start calculating it, and it's done. It has recovered the files. We open up the desktop, and there they are, the two files. 
Techman Pat and Techman Pat. Easy as that. Now, the thing with this is obviously once you recover the files, um, you know, you gotta give it a bit of time. So if it is a big video, it'll take a little while to recover, but you'll be able to recover 99% of your files. All right, there you have it. That's how you can recover files from your hard drive when it was deleted. Now quickly, let's check out their pricing, uh, see how much it costs for it. So, tap buy now. Boop. Now for Windows, one year subscription, 60 bucks. Um, you can pay with PayPal and that gives you unlimited everything apart from bootable media. Now, the bootable media one, I was actually looking at this, you probably won't really need it unless your PC crashes, um, and that's where the $70 comes in for one year. So, at $60, well, let's say it's 70, let's say you pay $70 per year, you get protection from basically losing your files, and there is still a Black Friday sale, so if you guys see this uh, on right now, you might hopefully get this uh, deal. But in any case, at $70 per year, that's not too bad for one PC, and you can obviously increase it to a lifetime license. For one PC, it's $80. Oh, okay, there you go. You don't have to do an annual plan at all. 80 bucks, and you get it for there. Friends, thank you very much for Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Uh, they wanted to share their software with us. Uh, I've actually used this in the past for free, so this was a no-brainer for me. Um, and obviously, if you wanna buy it, I'll put the links below. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for supporting this channel. I'll catch you guys in another one. Bye.